Good evening everybody, this is Nelka again and our topic for tonight is all about warehouse lighting design. So I have two options of a lighting design tutorial tonight. One is for outside or um, external lighting design and the other one is for the inside of the warehouse which is the indoor lighting design calculation for a warehouse. So let's proceed first for the exterior lighting design for a warehouse. So I have one of the brochure here of Thorn. This is the product called the Area Flood Pro. And this is um, the best fitting for an exterior lighting for a warehouse project. So you can see here in the pictures that um, this is so effective for area lighting uh, of the warehouse. In the outside and you can also use this fitting for sports lighting and for other external facilities like parking maybe yes you can also use this one also for parking all right so I have one project now and this is um, a warehouse here in Dubai and uh, right now I already placed three floodlights here and our concern today or tonight is this area which is the loading and unloading area so what i'm going to do is i'll go and select this fitting the area area flood and then i will yeah it's already here i will just select um the um, let's say the seven uh, the 55 watt or the 77 watt and let's see because my my objective is to have at least um, 50 lux on this perimeter of the warehouse along the loading and unloading area so I'll just go and select this um, 77 watt and I will use this glass one so I'll just select the dialux tab and then it will download and I'll say save and then I'll just click it here and now it's going to be placed now in our Dialux Evo file. Okay, I think it's already there. That's why it's not updated here. So what I'm going to do is I will just select this one because that is the one. And then I'll go to the plan view and I will set my floodlights in this area by using the draw line arrangement. And then I'll click from here to here end to end and then I will create a spacing of let's say 10 meters apart and let's see how what value we can get in this area and we zoom we will just rotate it okay so let's go and check in the elevation view so it should be mounted oh why it's down okay let's move it up so it should be mounted like um, 10 meters from the ground Okay, so let's go and say 10 meters and uh, see how it goes and let's go to the 3d okay I think the building is not 10 meters all right so it's what is the mounting height of this one it's so 6.7 only so let's go and make it 6.7 as well just type 6.7 there and then there you go Okay, let's move it a little far because it goes to that side. All right, so let's go to the elevation view again and see how it looks. Click the elevation tab and now it's on the edge of the building and you can move it again a little and you can tilt the fitting one by one but for now I'm just going to tilt it one shot and say it is um, five degree tilt. You can do it manually you can do it manually by right clicking on it and then um, rotate this tab there and make it 5 degrees tilt okay so you can either write or uh, write at 5 degrees or just do it manually all right so when you go to the 3d view you will see that it looks like this and let's see the distance of every fitting so it's 8.8 .8 meters apart and the other one I make I made it um, 11 meters so what I'm going to do in this area I will make it 10 um, meters apart so let's see how it looks 
So if I move it at 10 meter apart, then there will be an excess one here. So let's just make it 9 pieces with 10 meters apart. All right. So, and then after that, we will calculate it and see if we will achieve our required lux level, which is the 50 lux. To make it faster, I will just go and run the fast. And I will say only exterior area, only direct, or say, let's say, um, without objects. All right, so let's go and calculate. 